Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on the theme of uncleanness just a little. This one's called Sunset, Pigskins, and Spit. A man possessed by a legion of unclean spirits. In Hebrew, they're called Shadim. That's plural. And this man is mentioned at Mark 5. He's also mentioned in Luke and Matthew, or Matthew, but he's not mentioned in Yehuchanan or John. But in three of the Nazarene, what they call Gospels, the messages, the memoirs, that we're, you know, seeing the evidence of Yehusha's life, uh, written by the first Nazarene, this man was mentioned, and he was possessed by unclean spirits. Yehusha was traveling through a region of Guim, where Gentiles lived, and they were pig eaters. They ate pigs. <laughs> they shepherded them. And uh, this one uh, incident involved this unclean man possessed by Shadim. So we assume that he was also a Gadarene, one of the people of the community. But Yahusha had compassion on him because he realized this guy's in trouble, man. He was out of his mind. You know, taken over. His vessel, his house, his body and mind was completely controlled by a legion of demonic spirits. Unclean spirits. It's, in fact, most of the time, people that are possessed, they don't know that they're possessed. Because they've been, these things are subtle. They're very powerful, and they push you into a corner of your mind, and you can not you can hear and see everything that's going on. But they're just having a party, and they're unclean. I was one of the people who had one or more until you, Yahushua delivered me by the prayers of my wife, Phyllis, when they came out of me. She said, my eyes flashed red light. I don't tell very many people this, but now I'm telling the world. These things are not fun. And you do things that are not right. But uh, unclean spirits, what causes this? Well, it's a vacancy of, you know, not having Yahusha. You're vulnerable. Anyway, this man was relieved of his demonic possession and the demons went into this herd of pigs and they all went down the hill and drowned, probably under his control, of course, and because he didn't want these people eating those pigs. Are you supposed to really be eating pigs? Well, watch the video just before this one and people are swallowing pigs and lobsters and mollusks horrible things with toxins and things that are not food never set apart by the word anyway touching uncleanness also defiles you it makes makes you unclean until you bathe yourself so if you touch the genuine cowhide of leather binding on scriptures that you have it says genuine cowhide it's not really cowhide. It's pigskin, layers of pigskin. And they've pressed it and made it appear to be leather. Well, it is skin, it's animal hide. But this defiles a person until they bathe and change their clothes. And at sundown, they are clean. Why sundown? What, what makes the difference there? Well, see Uikra, or Leviticus chapter 15, and also chapter 22. The Levitical priests, the descendants of Aharon and his, his uh, children, down through the line of priests, were cooks, and they worked with food, what was real food, and they also were the doctors, they were to examine a person and say, whoa, you've got an infection. You see that yellow ooze coming out of that thing? Uh, you know, let's stay away from people, you know. Uncleanness 
You know, they were the doctors. And they told them what to do and how long to stay apart from other people. Well, we're in the Melchizedek priesthood, and we are also priests, and we're doctors. You know, we know what's clean and what's not clean. This is because scriptures are showing us what's right and what's wrong. You live by the scriptures. You don't just read it and then turn. It's the mirror. The Torah is a mirror. You don't just read it and then turn away and go, well, I don't remember what that said. It doesn't really apply to me. It does. You know, uh, this is uh, really serious. People that have scriptures and they pick them up and they touch them, they're ba sometimes they're bound with leather, but that leather is not anything but pigskin. It's always pigskin. Unless you go to a leather shop and you ask the man to make it out of cows for you, and then it's different. But how are you going to get it bound? Anyway, this, uh, this is serious because how are people supposed to stay clean in the eyes of Yahuwah and p be picking up his word and then touching all this leather? And, uh, you know, it's not really cows. It's because the labeling, genuine cowhide, is actually processed pigskin. But it's labeled as cowhide. Why would sunset be the point in time that we become clean. This is more evidence that sunset marks the beginning of a new day. So after you've bathed and changed your clothes and you at sunset you are clean again. Even if you ate something that you know was made of an unclean animal. But you don't want to continue like that. You don't want to live your life like that. You know, we studied a little bit about what happens to people. Uh, the do that in the last video, Yasha Yahu or Isaiah 66. Touching the dead carcass of any unclean animal, if it's dead and it's unclean, or a dead human, or a leprous human that's alive, or a human that has had a discharge, or anything else, like a football that's made of pigskin. And if you come in direct contact with these items, it spreads the uncleanness to people and other things. The basic teaching here is to keep our bodies clean. Spitting on the ground is not permitted where other people may come into contact with the material. Yahusha's spirit spit is different. He made a paste and from his saliva, mixed with dirt, he healed a man from blindness. So there's exceptions. The BYNV deluxe cover, is, I'll show you a copy of it. It's, it's, it looks like leather, and it's, it's Smythe sewn. It's stitched. But, and it comes with a ribbon, but it is not leather, but it's polyurethane. So uh, you're safe. You know, there's no animals in this at all. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Wow. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 7. Tell us how Yahuwah loves those who are clean inside and out. Here's what it says first seven verses. The Eretz, that's the earth, belongs to Yahuwah and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the Yamim, and upon the Mayim he established it. Who does go up into the mountain of Yahuwah? And who does stand in his Kodesh place? His set apart place. He who has innocent hands and a clean heart, who did not bring his life to naught and did not swear deceivingly, he receives a blessing from Yahuwah and obedience from the Elohim of his deliverance. This is the generation of those who seek him, Yaqub 
who seek your face. Selah. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and let the king of esteem come in. Thanks for watching, and remember, Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of Yahuwah. Join NotSareemLife.com. See you in the next short video. Bye.